All right, we got another AI test for the sand. So we got a full build AI test. So we got Reddit here with Indomitable, Bite, Indomitable Fighting Spirit. I had to hack the game for that because Indomitable Fighting Spirit is a good guy, Patara, and of course, that's the bad guy, so I had to do that. Indomitable Fighting Spirit, High Intention, Dragon Spirit on Majin Buu Eye. So pretty much a B1 build. Trying it again, I see. Versus uh, Reddit with Attack plus 1, Quick Fast Attack. Serious fighting spirit, launch support, and unleash key on Majin Buu. I, oh my God! I think I think the second Addis is gonna win. Because Majin Buu already shows his dominance in melee, and the B1 build just seems kind of gimmicky. And it, er, the thing is that what makes a build B1 build powerful is that one of your B1s is uh, the ability to dodge. That's why Kid Gohan was so powerful. Yes, it's nice to have a B1 build because you have a max power, but it's that dodging ability. It's that it's that after image which makes that Kid Gohan so strong. So I don't really think that. Raditz is the character for a B1 build. Because he really can't take advantage of the full power of, uh... Of the, the B1s. Also, I'm not sure how good, uh, Indominable Fighting Spirit is. I mean, you use two points for it. I kind of feel that, uh, launch support is just naturally better. Just that natural key plus one is just better than maybe charging faster because of melee. And... The melee build is completely dominating. Completely dominating. Uh, the melee build has unleashed key. Uh, not sure if that would be enough to win clashes. Generally, you want to go with up. Uh, here, here's a present. Connects. 7k points damage. You generally want to go with at least power of rage. I want to say. Uh, and then uh, sometimes, and depending on if you really want to win against some particular teams, you might have to go with dragon power, especially against like the Rugrats and Derp. Uh, seeing how good Fighting Spirit is on top of the the Unleashed Key. Unleashed Key is plus one, and right now he's two bars down, so he's plus two in key charge rate, so that's pretty good. He does get off the, the Sand Soul, so that's good. Alright. We got, uh, B1 build charging. Top Class Warrior does not connect. Looks like B1 build is pulling it off, though. Here's a present, connects for 8.6k points of damage, and that B, it's still a close fight though, could still be anybody's game, but the melee build just has that attack up, and it's over, had to end it with the classic combo, melee wins, alright let's go to round 2. A grab from B, B1. Melee is starting to dig into his melee combo. About 8k points of damage on that one. And melee just giving it to B1. Top class warrior, he's gonna stand up? Nope, he dodged. I thought he was gonna stand up like just in time. It was a nice attempt by melee. And melee is pretty much dominating this fight. Almost two bars ahead. Throw by melee. Yep, about two bars ahead now. Here's a present. Connects for 7k points damage, full power by B1. Top class warrior does not connect. Get kicked out of by, by B1. Uh, B gone and ultimate. Connects, but he's against the wall. Uh, melee. Charge rate about 1.5 right now. Already at max power. Now it's at 2. Speed of 2. While B1 has a charge penalty. That's another thing with a, a B1 build. Because especially since you have a, a B1 that puts you at max power. You have to counteract that charge penalty by at least giving him key plus 2. You know, Kid Gohan did it. And other B1ers will do it as well. So you need to counteract that. And melee, looks like melee's gonna win it with a, yeah, a melee combo. And melee wins it. Alright, so, I hope this resource was useful. I hope that you take any of my, uh, 
you know, suggestions into consideration, but yeah, definitely if you're going to go with the B1 build, you're definitely going to need at least key plus two, because that charge penalty that you're going to get from the max power. But like I said, I think you should just kind of scrap the idea of having him be uh, a B1 build, just because that's what makes a B1 build strong. It's not the going into max power. If you want him to go into max power, you can have him come out as a B2 or a savior, come out with Capito Secret Arts, and just, you know, spam it. You can pretty much make him a Jace. What makes a B1 build strong like that is the ability to dodge with Wild Sense and After Image and After Image Strike. That's what makes a B1 build strong. That's what made Kid. That's what made Kid Gohan so impressive. All right, so I hope you found this useful. Uh, thank you for uh, supporting me as your tester. Looking forward to doing some more tests for you. Thanks for watching.